of Calvin. And here I am now with Tommy Ryan, who's the CEO of Calvin County Council. Good morning, Tommy. Good morning, Annie. Another brilliant day it's going to be. It's great. I think the crowd are beginning to come in, and we had a great day it's yesterday, and we're looking forward to a great day again today. Absolutely. Now, one thing I would like to mention is that speaking of the speaking to the ex exhibitors yesterday, there was a great feedback on the improvement on last year, and that it's better planned, more space both in the arena and outside, which makes it easier for for the exhibitors and the patrons alike. Well, I think this is the seventh year of the Taste of Cabin, and you know every year we try to improve it. After the taste is over, we meet, we review what went well, what didn't go well, how we can improve for next year. And I think, you know, as the crowds get bigger, you need to have plenty of space for the people. So that they're comfortable uh, visiting the exhibitors, they have time to stop and, and discuss the issues with the exhibitors and, and, you know, then the exhibitors can sell more, people can be more comfortable, an opportunity for people to stand around, meet their neighbour, social occasion. So it combines everything, combines business, social, community, whatever, and they can all and do it here in a comfortable and environment. It, it has to be enjoyable. And it certainly seems that that point came across. Yes. But also as well, um, the food trail initiative brings football back into town and I think about 19 businesses in town have a, a little special offer during the day where people in Calvin can have a little trial of food as well and that's working really well as well. Well it is, but during uh, last year Calvin County Council adopted a food strategy for the county and one of the aspects of that food strategy is to involve all food industry. I mean we have we have every level of food industry here in Calvin. We have the primary producers, we have uh, artisan food producers, we have the chefs and we have the restaurants. So this taste uh, five euro for a taster in each of the restaurants brings the restaurants in Cavan Town into the whole taste of Cavan and it also brings uh, football into the town from all the visitors that come here to the equestrian century so that's that's really important to expand that and to, to build on our food uh, destination and I just might mention now that Cavan is one of the ten finalists in the country for the food destination in Ireland foodydestinations.ie we're asking people to vote yeah, we're waiting on the results on that yeah. yeah. so you know uh, there's judging taking place next week so all of that forms part of uh, creating Cavan as a food destination which impacts on tourism which has wider impacts than just what you see here today. Okay, and well done indeed. In the current climate, it's great to see that Cavan County Council is enabling local people, local businesses, local projects to showcase their, their wares worldwide. Well done. Yeah, well, thank you very much. And I suppose it is the role of Cavan County Council, and we have revised roles and renewed roles for councils generally to promote economic development and to promote community development, and this is part of that role. Well, well done again to Cavan County Council. Thank you, thank you much, Tommy Ryan. CEO of Cavan County Council. Okay, thank you very much.